I guess what are you hoping to accomplish during the last uh, you know stretch here of the off season, and what will you do between I guess now uh, and the time training camp starts, just to make sure you're ready to roll when when, when it's time to go. Yeah, just continue these last few days to uh, to work, just trying to uh, get everyone on the same page and up to, to the right speed. You know, we're, we've got a lot of work to do and a lot of new faces, so just getting accustomed to everything. Uh, but a lot of a lot of opportunity in front of us. So just need to continue to work, um, you know, get ourselves ready for, for the season uh, through the summer, you know, ready to go during training camp and kick this thing off on the right foot. Will you try to gather with some guys in July before you come here or what, what's your routine usually like to get ready? Yeah, most likely. Yeah, I try to get, get together with, with some guys uh, at some point in July, just kind of a little uh, refresher for a few days. Um, you know, everyone generally tries to get away a little bit, clear your heads, clear your minds, um, kind of come back refreshed and, and ready to go for training camp. So uh, definitely working, uh, making sure you're in, in shape, uh, staying on top of things, um, but a balance of, of clearing your head and coming back refreshed and ready to go. Paul? Cool. John Glennon? Hey, Ryan, I'm um, wondering if you could talk about um, your impressions of, of Julio. And I know, um, you know, I think Rob Moore was saying yesterday that, that maybe it's important for you guys to get to know each other, you know, off the field as well as on. Uh, can you talk about maybe the, uh, you know, the chemistry process also that will take place between you and Julio? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's going to be a, a learning process both on and off the field, getting to know each other as people, how we function. Um, just how that relationship, you know, fits in. Everyone's a little different. So um, just figuring out how we work together and then obviously getting up to speed on the field. You know, obviously he's the, got a lot of talent and has, has made a bunch of big plays over the course of his career, but we have to get on the same page and, and make sure that we're on point with everything we're going to ask him to do here in Tennessee. So excited for that. I'm looking forward to the work it's going to take uh, to get ready to go for Sundays in the fall. Corey Curtis. Hey, Ryan, uh, I know the undertaker didn't make it, but uh, largely the offensive line survived the lower salary cap and, and the reshaping of the roster to get under the number this year. How big of a relief has it been for you to know you're going to have largely your same guys up there? Well, it's exciting to, to have some familiar faces in front of me, you know, guys that uh, know what we're about and know the way we like to play and how we do it. And uh, guys I believe in, I trust and, and I, I love playing with. I love coming to work and seeing those guys and their faces and, and the work that they put in. So, um, like I said, you know, a lot of work in front of us, a lot of, a lot of time uh, that we have to take advantage of uh, as we move forward. But to have some familiar faces in front of me is a great feeling. Steve Lehman. Brian, considering all the new faces that are in your receiver room right now, how important have these OTAs and, and specifically now this week where it's a little bit more full speed out there how important can these couple of days be to help you all get on the same page as you move towards training camp? Yeah, just, you know, as, as guys become more involved in, in what we're doing and, and guys get healthier, um, new additions, you know, that'll be uh, the real test to, for us as we, as we head into training camp, you know, become, being able to come back full speed and, and get on the same page quickly with all the different things that, that we like to do in this offense is going to be you know crucial for us. So, um, you know, I don't know if the, the, these last couple of days are, are any more full speed. It's pretty much the same schedule as we've been having, but uh, um, we got to take advantage of the, the time that we do have, no doubt about it. A real quick follow on that, the, the rookies, McMath and Fitzpatrick, have you been around them enough to get a feel for what kind of receivers they are and how do they look to you? Those guys are, are working. You know, they're doing what we asked them to do, going out there and working every day, you know, uh, seeing them doing some good things, but – it's a long road ahead of them, and they just have to keep their heads down and then keep working. Circling back to Paul. Sorry for the internet difficulties. Um, you guys have a ton of big receivers, Ryan, uh, with Julio coming in now. You're, you're top three guys, big. Uh, a lot of the depth is is big. Do you have a propensity for big wide receivers, and what are the advantages beyond the, the obvious of having uh, so much length? Well, obviously, there's there's a lot of benefits to having uh, a big target. You know, you get range, um, you know, bigger catching radius. They can use their bodies uh, to, to create separation. If it's tight coverage, you have more space to throw it away from a defender 
and they, they'll still be able to, to make a play on it. So, um, you know, John and, and Coach Grable have, have done a great job of, of getting guys that kind of fit the way we like to play. Obviously, tough, physical. We're going to ask our receivers to block, and being big helps all of that. So, um, you know, excited for the room that we have, and, and it'll be fun to see those guys work, you know, as we get through uh, through training camp and, and how that room ends up will be exciting. Thanks. We're on. Yeah, Ryan, the, the other day in practice, saw you just kind of talk to uh, Julio Jones after one of the reps. Uh, I wanted to ask you just how that conversation, that communication is going, just as far as you and him getting on the same page, as you mentioned before. Yeah, it's going to take hundreds of those little small communications, you know, um, throughout training camp, throughout now, up until, you know, even throughout the season. You know, it's just got constant communication, uh, fine-tuning things, making sure that we're seeing things the same way. Um, you know, I'm going to communicate with him how I see certain certain plays, uh, certain routes against maybe a low hip coverage or a high hip coverage and where I expect the ball to be um, on all those different types of things. So um, it's going to be a learning process. There's, there's going to be a lot we're going to have to cover um, from now until uh, until the first game, uh, but it'll be a, a learning process for both of us and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And you like to, you know, do the, the layup, the finger roll is your, your... – TD celebration, so I make a basketball reference. You know how, how much are you looking forward to kind of being a point guard for this Shaq and Kobe or, or Mike and Scotty kind of tan, tandem that you have at receiver. <laughs> basketball reference. Um, I'm excited. You know, I, I I know what we have in AJ, and obviously, you know what Julio brings to the table. I've seen you know big things out of him. You know his whole career. So um, that's all exciting. But at the end of the day, we have to uh, have to get on the same page here this year and uh, and make sure we're doing everything we can to go out and make plays on Sunday. So, um, you know, a ton of quote unquote potential, but at this point, you know, potential doesn't really get you a whole lot. You have to put the work in, put the time in and, and ultimately go out and make the plays on Sundays. Thank you. A couple more for Ryan. Teresa. Ryan, to kind of follow up on that, this offense last year was so productive. You've got Derek back as well. Uh, is that the key to making sure that uh, this offense can build and take advantage of all these weapons that you have? And, and and how much fun do you have looking at what you're going to be working with this year? You're saying having Derek back, that's, that's the... Uh... Well, having Derek, having AJ, adding Julio, all these pieces, uh, you, you, you now have so many options. Uh, it's, it seems like, does that make your job easier or harder? Well, definitely makes makes our offense, um, you know, where you can't just focus in on one person or, or one aspect of it. You know, I think that's the key to a to a good offense is being able to to threaten the defense and put pressure on the defense in, in multiple areas and multiple facets. So, um, you know, on paper we we have some guys that, that will be able to do that. Uh, at this point, it's just about us. You know, like I said, just continue to work and get ready. That way, that uh, we can make it a reality on Sundays. Yeah, Ryan, we asked you a lot about your uh, new offensive teammates, but obviously there's some new faces on the defensive side of the ball. You got, and some, you've faced them, I'm sure, at certain points in your career. What what have your observations been with you know getting to know them, working against them, and, and interacting with them in, in meeting rooms and such? Yeah, it's been fun meeting some of the some of the new guys we have on defense. Um, you know, I get excited anytime uh, I get to meet you know quality players that, that I've played against or, or watched play. And, and get to join and play with them. And it's uh, something special that um, I don't take for granted. So, you know, a guy like Bud Dupree, who I have a ton of respect for, you know, just playing against him and the way he plays the game um, on a on a weekly basis uh, with tenacity in the in the run and and the pass game, rushing the passer. Man, it's uh, it's been fun to watch him. So, uh, you know, hopefully he can continue to do the same thing for us. Last question, Glennon. Yeah, Ryan, touching uh, back on the uh, on the size of the wide receivers, I know back in the day you yourself were obviously a big wide receiver. I wonder if, in addition to uh, some of the advantages, uh, are there some challenges that, that come with being a, a bigger guy, a bigger wide receiver out there too? I mean, it just depends on depends on the guy. You know, physics wise, right? It's it's a little bit tougher to transition. Uh, when you're big, when you're bigger, but some guys I've seen some really big guys who have amazing transition and can transition uh, just as fast as anybody. So it's really a you know person by person basis and and whatever each guy's skill set is. Uh, but on the whole, you know we have to uh, just take advantage of of each person's individual skill set, try to uh, try to bring out the best things that they do, and ultimately help us make plays.